And he says, if me and you would have done it, Dave, we'd have been, we'd have won that. I've had a look at your weights and my weights. I'm together. beating you on weight. <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I've got most weights out of the Oh, what? Yeah. A four pound and a five pound? I don't think you have. I'm beating you on weight. They're my droppers. All oh, right. <laughs> This don't look good, does it? I stop at uh, ten past seven in the morning. Bloody freezing last night. <sighs> Gonna be hard work today, I think. So, so let's go pick him up, my brother up, for the last round of the winter bomb and feeder league at Lindon Lakes. <sighs> Gonna be hard work, I think, but you never know. Let's go. Bomb and Feeder League at Lindon Lakes. Thank God it's the last round. Oh, you sound very optimistic, don't you? Why is that, David? Please tell us. Well, it's because the best in the world has drawn us because he wants to draw. How oh, I end up first in bag dinner. First in bag. Got them all. And what have I got us? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I'm on 21. I'm going to go other way and you can walk down. That better, innit? About it's about, yeah, it's about halfway. Let's go on. Yeah, so I'm on 21 beaches, which I think it's not too bad, but it's not it's the not, best of yeah. areas, is it? Let's to be fair. We're up in that up in the top section where the fish don't bloody really swim, do they? You know, it's cold, mm. so they might they tend to move out of there with mold, don't they? Um, but yeah, guess where I'm going. Laurels. You've moved one peg, haven't you? Uh, two pegs to the left. I'm gonna on peg 36. You've moved one peg. So when I showed it, yeah, you were like, you're not, you were like, I'm not going on laurels. You could see it in your face. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like laurels. I don't. If it had been 40, Reno I ain't. I don't mind 40. But you, you're just terrible at drawing. Any uh, all them times you moaned at me saying they were crap, they were crap, and then you go and draw that. We might be all right, Dave. You could only do your best. Look at you taking lines off, <laughs> Alan. Uh, we've had a laugh though, haven't we? But it's, the only thing is, it's, it's a cold day again, isn't it? We've got up. Yeah, it's been ice, nice, frost it? everywhere, and it's like we just needed two decent pegs, didn't we, to make it a little bit better? But I've gone and drawn us not good, so we've got what five. Five and a half hours of satin cold moaning, aren't we? That's what we've got. So you never know. I might end up on a stellar day and have about 100 carp or something like that. Where are we going here? I'm, I'm, I'm walking walk, walk to Timbuktu. Where are we going here? I'm walking to Timbuktu. He's off again. Yeah. He can't control his son. Oh dear. He loves to have a bit of a moan where we're parking. And we'll be all right. Right, anyway. And we're going to do it all again next year for you, aren't we? No, no. We are. 
I've got Tid. Tidsy want Tidsy's trying to get his way in. He says, if I was talking to him on the phone over there and he says, if me and you would have done it, Dave, we'd have been we'd have won that. I've had a look at your weights and my weights. I'm together. beating you on weight. <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, 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 I've got most weight out of oh, the yeah, what, yeah. a four pound and a five pound? I don't think you have. They're my droppers. All oh, right. No, you are not, because I'm going to work it out and put it on the screen. Even Aaron croaks this morning, because you were, like, gearing it all large, saying, I've got the least weight, and Aaron were like, no, actually. Oh, Richard's got the Aaron most weight. Aaron has got, it's got It's all computers. Angles. It's all on computers, no, isn't it? Yeah, I'm off. Uh, he's, he's got a face on, hasn't he? Anyway, let's do his best, see if we can do it for the last round, eh? Keep so on bagging. Know. Right, here we are on the peg, as you can see behind. We've drawn peg 21 on beaches, not where we want it to be, to be honest, but uh, not the end of the world. We've got Eddie Bride on this side. Uh, I think Jamie Harrison's up there somewhere. Um, not too sure who else is there, but uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, so I'll take you to the peg, show you what I'm fishing today. Cheers, all set up ready to go um we've got today fishery micras they're just doing forgot to do them last night we've got some corn we've got super sprays we've got those wafters there's critical wafters in here we've got a few pellets a few hooks got a bit of bread i like to put a bit of empoil on my pellets got a few hooks in there that's it uh, rod wise we've got two essential 10 foots one with a bomb on, one with a method feeder on. That's it, really. That's it. Uh, we're all set up, raring to go, so wish me luck. Here's a quick word from our sponsor. We've got these fabulous new EVA sets. These make your fishing really, really easy if you like to be organized like I am. Um, first of all, we've got, this is the new um, EVA set. Cheers, uh, actually it's a thermal one as well, so it keeps your bait cool in the summer. Um, and this has got five bowls in. You've got two larger bowls, three smaller bowls. Perfect for if you've got a multitude of baits on the table. Uh, skimmer fishing, for example, you could have ground bait, pellets, pinkies, dead maggots, live maggots. The options are, well, great on those ones. So that's the first one. Second one we've got is a slightly bigger bowl, but this one's only got two bowls inside. And this is ideal for if you're on a day's method fishing, for example, and you've got your micro pellets in one, ground bait in the other, for example. The other thing is, obviously, you've got the bigger, the bigger bowl as well. So perfect for getting organised on your bait tray. Right, here we are. We're all set up, ready to go. There's about five minutes or so from the all in. So I think we're going to start on a bit of bomb and bread. And just chuck it around the peg. Not have to redo that. Mm. 
great eye up here. Aren't you fishing on? It's this here. It's all that crap. Mud. Mud with me new rod. Right, so start on bottle of bread and then uh, we'll go from there really. There's not much we can do. Or what else? See Eddie's had a chuck round his peg. I ain't had a chuck in mine yet. Hopefully it won't go straight in the bush. Three discs on. Ah, uh, Richard's on 36 laurels, he's not happy. One peg away where he's been for the last three matches. So, not the best for him. On his three discs. Yeah, so about five minutes from the off. Steady away. Got uh, bombing, bombing bread, bombing corn, and a method feeder. Alex has just been round and had a chat with me. Said uh, to just go easy, fish your uh, bombing bread. Exactly what I thought, really, to be honest. But uh, steady away. We'll see what happens. Eh? Wish me luck. Right, we've got his first fish. It's taken quite a while, to be honest. I don't know what it is, probably. An F1 or something. Right, let's get it chucked out again. Just switched over to corn and uh, come round. So, let's see if we can get another one of them. Come on.
do we a few more of them? Alright, got another one. Feels like an F1 this time. Time of that clutch. Nice if I keep coming back to so. lines and we'll uh, keep going. Alright, just chuck the method out over to the other side. Just come off that corn line, just give it a little bit of a rest. And uh, first chuck and it's gone round. Let's see what they see. We'll get it I've just talked to our Richard, he's had a car for the few little left ones, so he doesn't want that. See an idea out next door. Yeah. The lad. This side I met at right. He's had a calf and a couple of F1s, I think. And I've got a car and two F1s. But I just hope it keeps going because. if we keep getting by it's but
it's definitely spider season. Look at them webs. All on the bloody rod. There's loads of knocking about. Right, well, it is about 20 past one. Um, not had another bite since that little F1 on the method feeder over there. I thought we we're going to get a couple more bites, but it never really, uh, never really produced anything. So we've gone. I've had a quick look down the edge. I had one liner, and I thought, "Hey, up here we go." Then that didn't turn into oak, and then um, I've had a quick go both down, both both margins. Not had a not had a sign apart from that little liner. Um, and then I've gone back on my corn line, chucking over to the trees, basically, in the, uh, as far as I dare. Wait, come See if we can get one. I don't think Eddie's still had a bite, so he's really struggling in that corner. But I've had that peg before, and it was terrible. We carried about 12 pounds, I think. But we'll keep going, keep persevering. I've still only heard that bit from our Richard where he's had one carp and couple, uh, three or four F1s he said. So he's doing alright. Um, yeah. But I really thought that method was going to take off but it didn't. I've seen catching in the bowl area where I would have thought they'd be catching you know, a few odd fish coming out, so hopefully this will start kicking off and uh, we'll start getting a few more and then end up chucking around in the sort of rolls that we've baited up and uh, we'll go from there, innit? I've just got a feeling I'll get a few more fish here and then I'm going to chuck in the other spot where I've been baiting up. See if we can get a few there. Got them nice pieces of corn ready for oak. Hopefully, it'll go round while I'm picking the corn out. Few more. Oh, chuck method out to the other side and it's gone round. I think this is a better fish from what we've been catching.
Look at that reflection. Just chuck that one to the far bank, keep rotating swims and stuff, trying to catch odd fish, but uh, hmm, that one I like that. See if we can get another one of them. sort of the last hour I've not uh, heard out from our Richard since I talked to him well early on in the match and he had one carp and about four F1 he said he were doing all right to be honest and getting a few bites um, I've chucked around with that corn tried down edge again nothing but the best line I've had is chucking over to them two trees there and just coming about uh, like a foot away from the bank um, I've had two carp over there and about three F1s now so that's been sort of the best line and I think I'm probably going to end up finishing the match there because we've not got long left um, but I've kept feeding that corn line there I think it's too shallow there because every time I chuck out and you get a little bump and stuff, I think you've got to come away from it. But I've kept chucking around with a bit of corn and that, and I tried method over my pellet line, not had a bite on that. Um, yeah, nothing down the edges. I had that one liner earlier on, and then nothing else really. So it's been a bit disappointed as them edges. I thought I could have nicked a, maybe a couple of fish or a fish on that. So I'm going to carry on fishing over there for a bit, I think the sun's gone down so it's gone a little bit quiet, Eddie's had a fish now, so he said he's oh, saved a blank, I said yeah bloody hell, it's horrible that peg, I've had it Anna, well you've seen I've had it, what did I have off it, 12, 12 pounds I think, but yeah, I don't like it up there. But um, they've all been catching in the bowl area, and I talked to Tids there, and he said that they were catching on bonsai. He'd, he'd done quite well on bonsai, as Tids there. He said he, he got a couple of carp and about six or seven F1s, I think, so he'd done all right on there. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think Tyler's catching on the point. Young Tyler on the point, I've seen him winding a few fishing. But uh, it's hard to see when you're trying to concentrate and stuff, isn't it? But hopefully our Richard will have done all right today after his five pound disaster last week. Bloody whinging at me. And then Aaron come up to him this morning and goes, you've done all right, Richard, you. I think you've been the best wood out at Lottier. And I'm like, are you messing with me, Aaron? He's had two with a four pound and a five pound. So God knows what Aaron went about. He says his dad didn't come out at plumbing house, he says, because he's got to give that hundred quid or something to Elmo and Chicken. So he said, I don't think it'll be here for presentation. Good old Neil, eh? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to concentrate on this for the last hour light, and then uh, if I get a few more of a big and I'll, uh, I'll film it for you and see how we get on this last um, last few minutes eh? well 
got another one over there, probably the last fish it there, feels like an F1. Um, I think there's only about 15 minutes left, so might get another one, you never know if I get this one in. Be nice. So, unless I get a monstrous one on in the last sort of 10 minutes, that'll be it. So, we'll see you at the weigh in. Finish the house, you'll probably ask for it in. So, fifth overall, it is quite close. So, if you think anything's a bit iffy, come see me because I've, I've just added it up. So, fifth overall with a combined weight of 452.8 is Rob Bergen and Mara picking up 100 quid. Fourth overall with a combined weight of Four hundred and sixty-six pound eight is Dave Perkins and Dave Bell. Oh. Third overall, with a combined weight of four hundred and sixty-seven pound ten, is Steve Cook and Andy Sellers. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth overall, with a combined weight of four hundred and sixty-seven pound ten. Well done, babe. <laughs> Second overall, picking up 440 quid with a weight of 506 pound five is Chicken and Elmo. Oh. You will get it. Any winners overall, with a combined weight of 511 pound six is May Potter and Mickey Rogers. <laughs> That's it for this year. Thank you to everyone for supporting it. We'll see you all soon. Cheers, Alan. Well done, 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 Alan. Here we go. We've finished the 
winter bomb and feeder league at Lindome Lakes. We survived, haven't we? Well, yeah, we've survived it. We survived. We've survived it together, doing it together, and uh, it's been alright. I don't know, yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed fishing with you again, and we've had a laugh, haven't we? Haven't we? Even though I know we have as banter and whatever on videos, but um, it's been nice, hasn't it? Um, yeah, it's, we've not drawn great over the the whole winter league, have we? We've we've had a couple of a decent draws where I thought, oh, I should have done better there. Yeah. And I think you've had one, haven't you, where you've said, oh, I should have done better. Wait, yeah. 70 odd on Bonsai or something. Wait, yeah, eight, eight, 81 or 80, something. 80, weren't it? So there's been a couple where we thought, oh, we'll just, just get a few more. And then today as well, we don't know what we've done today, but we do now. I've had £41.6 six on uh, beaches off peg 21. Didn't think... You moaned. Nah, well... You moaned at that, didn't you? Oh, listen, that... I thought it were in corner, but it isn't. It's that 24. It's off edge of island. It's start at island, isn't it? 24 is ridiculous. I hate it there. And today, um, Eddie Bryden has been on. He's had one bite, and that's where I were. You thought that's where you were going, didn't you? Yeah. Um, and I had £12 off it. That's why you had bottom lip out, didn't you? Well, you were giving me. I knew it were thereabouts, but I got there today and I thought, oh, this is all right, this. And I've just. Bomb and corn, bomb and bread for the first hour and a half, and then changed to bomb and corn. Had a few fish, then started chucking a method across uh, and caught a few more. And then I've, I've stuck up method straight across to these two trees, what stick up. Um, and I've caught quite well. Had a few F1s and a couple of carp off that, and done all right. I ended up weighing 41 pounds, which is probably about. I think it were about third or fourth on that lake. I think it was third. You're doing all right, aren't you? Yeah. But so it looks like lake. 45 on your lake, so it were only a few 47, pounds. 47, I think, on our lake. Yeah, what, what much were it? And then, um, and then he rings you up, and I thought, oh, I hope he's done all right. Six, you were dreading 60, it, 70 yeah. pound, I hope. And you've done all right, haven't you? How did your yeah. match go then? I've had uh, 42 summer in the end. Um, I set off on bomb and bread to left island. And tips bang round, and well, I thought it were about twelve pounds. Took me ages to get it in. What was it? About five. Well, well, when I pulled it out to me, I thought, oh yeah, you're not twelve. You're probably like more like nine or ten. Um, Do you take a picture for us? No. Great. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have to prepare next year, won't we? I'll take some. Take, take us a few pictures. pictures of your peg. Let people know where you're fishing. Yeah. I'll have I bet to you were. Set, I bet you were set up, weren't you? About half nine. Yeah. Oh, what time do we start? What time do we I start? I messaged you about 10 o'clock, Yeah, and I, I thought, mean, bloody hell, I've only just got to be no, there. No, it was quarter, quarter past 10, because I thought we kicked off quarter past. Anyway, get back to me, man. Go on, go on. So then I fed a, a corn line, probably about, what, 20, 20-odd 20 metres. Um, I've had nothing on that, but I've had an island. It's a real good chuck, isn't it? What would you say, about 30-odd, 40 metres? Great chuck. Well, it's it's a longer chuck than normal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you you can chuck to the back of that yeah, island. Yeah, you can chuck yeah. to the back. It's about thirty five meters, isn't it? I think. So I've I've fished a a banjo hybrid or whatever it is um, to the back of that, <clears throat> and I've started catching steady, and I've fed me edges. Um, but I only had two down edge. Well, there you go. It don't matter, um, does it? Well, no, but chicken at cider, mate. Eh? He's had. I don't know, six or seven down the edges ended up doing me. Um, in, and he's, I think he's had 57? 57, yeah. 57 yeah. pound. So them fish what he's caught that edge have done me. Um, but I had like a real poor last hour. That sun went in. It was lovely, weren't it? That yeah, sun. yeah, and then the sun went, sun went in. in and it just went really cold. And then my lines just went dead. But that edge, they were just tapping all the time. And I was waiting for it to pull round, but... No, I'd only got only had two. Oh, but just need a few more. Yeah, you know, I suppose there's no point moaning. We, we, we've had some learns, haven't we, this year, uh, over winter period. Uh, and I, I were really excited last night for you. I, you know, we're last one, so I know it's at the end of a, an era thing, but, you know, I'm really excited up this morning. Um, and then obviously when we drew, we thought that were it, didn't we? And then we've just got our heads down and. Um, yeah, we were a bit disappointed this morning, weren't we? I were, and I thought, for God's sake. Yeah, you didn't want to go on laurels at well, all, did you? No, I, didn't, I just didn't like 
laurels, but then again, you should know it off by heart. You fished yeah. it round there about four times, haven't you? We seem to get the same pegs. Yeah, I'll first it bag and all, ain't I? Yeah. First it bag all them pegs to choose from, and I've pulled out blinking laurels and beaches. But, but it's turned out all right, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we've had £82 summer, or £83. It's just, just out of money, hasn't it? Um, I think the first one in the money were like 100 No, it were it? 90 Oh, were it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. for, for, uh, last one in money were uh, 90 so oh, right. we've just missed out on top <coughs> four finish, haven't we? Mm. Uh, so it Labusa's weight, so, which I'm assuming you'll find out and you'll put it on now for the viewers. Yes, well, I'll put the results up for you now. You can have a look at them. Well done to all the framers. And I'll put the league position up for where we came as well. I reckon that's done us all right, that. I reckon we we're halfway. Yeah. I reckon we're halfway, but not where we wanted to be. We wanted to be in the top bloody five, didn't we, really? Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, it's our first bomb and feeder winter league at Lindum. And I know I fish it all the time, but I don't tend to fish winter, do I? Um, no. So it's been a bit of a, a learning curve over winter, because I don't tend to... I know you fish all year round, but I don't. But we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Mm. Um, but I'll be glad now it's starting to, you know, back in the February, March, it's going to get a bit warmer. A bit warmer, in it, And then yeah. you'll be shallow fishing with your, with your <laughs> mates up at Lindholm. Are you coming shallow fishing, Dave Shires? And um, who else you mess, knock about with you? Um, Come on, shallow boys. Come on, shallow boys. Richard shirt, is it? Get your shallows out, boys. We're ready yeah. for the shallow fishing. I was looking at my shallow rigs the other day. I was like, oh, can I get mm. you done all nice and ready? A bit of shallow fishing, so uh, yeah, looking forward to that this year. Yeah. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, it's been a long one, but uh, yeah, we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Mm. And we do, we're going to do it next year. I said, I shouted out, I said, put me in Tidsy down for next year. You've been winding him up all week, saying that I oh, was going to fish with Tidsy. I said, oh, go on then, I can't, can't have my brother whinging at me, aren't we? On like he's done all all season. But yeah, I suppose. Have we done tids in all in league? That's the other thing, isn't it? Well, so I hope, I hope we have. If not... Come on, shallow boys. Uh, we hope we have. Yeah. We'll see. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching this one. Yes. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe up to these. Give us a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll see you next year for the uh, yeah. Bomb and Feeder yeah. League. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So... Keep on bagging. Shame, there's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind.